Uh, good evening, YouTubers. This is my second review on the Autoja impact range. The weight is 8.59 pounds, dimension 16.5 by 11.7 by 4 inches. Torque 260 Nm. 190 foot per pound. I've seen a couple things on YouTube and also Amazon where one claimed that the auto jar is defective and he would be sending it back. I'm here to clarify that. One, I would talk about the detain pin. Some people claimed that they don't like the auto jar because of the detain pin. The auto jar can work without inserting that detain pin. For instance, it depends on the job you're doing. If you want to insert the detain pin, you, you insert it. There are certain times you'd be removing something when you pull the gun, the socket stays. In that case, you have the detain pin that when you try to remove, the socket comes out with it. The other thing they speak about is if you it starts and stops only in reverse. When you put it forward or when you're tightening your nut or your bolt, it will continue. When you're removing the nut and the bolt, it starts and stops. That is, a, I would say, a safety feature. When you're removing your nut or bolt, it depends on your location. Once the gun feels that whatever you're removing, whether it's the nut or the bolt, is slack, it stops, which means you would have to do the rest by hand. Again, if you're working overhead, that's a good feature. If you're taking out your lug nuts and you're in water, your lug nuts will not fall out. Now to change that feature, you go right here and you press the button either once. The button is so small that you cannot Feel twice okay. it has I guess the other thing is saving battery that's forward that's easy. If you want to stop it, you press you press twice. No the only complaint I have with the, not really the auto jab, but the sockets. I find the sockets held up good. I took out all the lug nuts of my forerunner. It's not flicking inside at all. But when I looked at the back, if you notice, it's flicked up. 
the socket itself is too big for the I guess that's a drive or shaft or whatever they call it it's a big too big for that so if you use the circuits that come with the gun to remove something you find it will try to over torque it depends on the torque or the nut or bolt you're trying to remove it will try to over torque now this is a detain pin this is the other detain pin which came out from the circuit so what I would suggest is do not use these circuits with the gun the outside here is very firm but it seems like the back is a bit softer or since it's bigger than this shaft when it gets the torque it the shaft tries to turn inside here which eats the edge it's all flicked up but apart from that the gun is good for those of us who wants to do it ourselves. It comes with six sockets, sizes 18 to 22. It has two 22, a deep and a shallow one battery one power supply and a carrying bag so far i haven't had any problem with the auto jar apart from this i'm quite satisfied with the performance of it i bought this gun with my own money I'm not being sponsored by Autojar the speed I don't know much about the torque or the different speeds but it has three speeds one, two, three. It looked like four. One, two, three. It depends on what you're doing or what you're removing or what you're putting in. But I bought this not only for my forerunner but to do handiwork which I am a, a how-to guy do it yourself I also purchased a, a ratchet and another gun which is quarter inch now for those of you who do not have the money to spend to buy an expensive top range or I would say a brand name the auto jar at 95 you could just say $96 is the right way to go money well spent I would be doing another video down the line to keep you all informed of how the auto jar would be holding up. I ha also have some work to do on my forerunner, which is the back differential, put spring shocks and change the bushings. That's one of the reasons I bought this. 
I tested it out with a torque wrench. I also purchased a torque wrench, which I'll be doing a review on sometime down the line. Well, YouTubers, this is it for now. I know some people wouldn't like this. They would go for a name brand, but for people like me who are just starting off in power tools, actually, this is my first power tool. I think that's a good way to go and the best way to go. So that's it for now. Peace and love.